Are you tired of dying <gasps> in Minecraft because your armor sucks? Well, I am. So in today's video, we're gonna be making the best armor set in Minecraft. But to do that, we are gonna need to do a ton of enchanting. Which means that we're gonna need to have a ton of XP. And if you take a look at my current XP farm, yeah, we're gonna have to build a new one. But out of all the XP farms that exist, which one should we build? So after doing a ton of research on Google, I went with the gold XP farm. But to build it, we are gonna need to collect a ton of materials. So, yeah, let's start collecting. Ooh, diamonds. Let's see how much there is. Okay, now finally, after two hours of collecting materials, we are now ready to start building the farm. I think I'm gonna build the farm over here, so yeah, let's start. By the way guys, I'm gonna leave you the tutorial I used in the description below. Also, if you don't wanna see me building, skip to this minute on the screen. Okay, just finished with the first portal, now let's build the second. Okay guys, I finished the building, let's see if it works. Okay now, once I switch those four levers, the farm should start working. It seems like it's working, now let's wait for the zombie fight piglins to spawn. I'm gonna AFK by the farm for 30 minutes, let's see how much XP we can get in that time. After AFKing by the farm for 30 minutes, we ended up with 71 levels, which honestly isn't that bad. Okay now, we're ready to start with our main objective, which is making the best armor set ever. I think we're gonna start with the helmet, and then we're gonna walk our way until we reach the boots, because the boots require the most enchantments out of them all. These are the enchantments that we need for the helmet. Since the helmet already has a breaking 3 on it, we can remove that off the list. And I also happen to have protection IV and an aqua affinity buckling in my base, so we can remove those off the list too. Lucky for me, I already have villagers that will send me mending and thorns 3 for 1 emerald only, so we can take those off the list too. So the only enchant left is respiration 3, which I'm gonna have to get manually by enchanting box until we get it. 2000 years later. Finally, that took me like 15 minutes of just enchanting box. Okay, now we have all the enchantments for the helmet. Let's move on to the chest plate, which requires 4 enchantments only, and we already have 2 of them on the chest plate itself, and the other 2 are mending 1 and thorns 3, which I can just buy from my villagers for 1 emerald only. Okay, we're done with both the helmet and the chest plate. Now for the leggings, the leggings actually require the same enchantments as the chest plate. However, we only need to get sweat sneak 3, which can be only found in ancient cities, which I'm gonna have to go on an adventure to find. So yeah, let's go. I think ancient cities can only be found underneath mountains, 
Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna keep on flying until I find one. So after 20 minutes of searching, we finally found one. However, it didn't go as planned, since I was almost killed by the warden two times. But in the end, we found the book we were looking for, and we made it back home alive. So now, the only piece of armor left is the boots, which acquire the most enchantments out of them all. I know this is gonna take a long time, but let's start. The first two I'm gonna clear off the list are protection IV and feather finding IV, because we already have them on the boots. Same goes for mending 1 and thorns 3, which again, I'm gonna buy from my villagers. So the only three enchantments remaining are unbreaking 3, soul speed 3, and first walker 2. And the only one out of those three that we can get from enchanting is unbreaking 3, which I managed to get after a couple of tries. Now, let's get first walker 2. The easiest way to get it is by trading with villagers. And after giving this villager a job and taking it away from him 20 times, he finally agreed to sell me it but for a whole stack, which is just insane. But I still had to do it for the sake of the video. Now that first walker 2 is out of our way, the only enchantment left is soul speed 3, which I honestly thought would be the easiest to get. But I was wrong, because I had to spend 30 minutes of my time and 5 stacks of gold until the biglands finally gave it to me. That was the last enchantment that we needed. All we have to do now is combine them with the armor itself. I didn't want to bore you guys, so I went ahead and combined them all together. And there you have it, the best armor in Minecraft. Let me go test it against some zombies. So, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I really don't see any difference. What was the point of doing all of that? Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next video.